ركز يلا مينز يلا تعال مينز كمان ليتس جو ايش اسمك and her name is Warda do you want to make food with mommy مرحبا so مرحبا means hello everybody welcome to another episode Saudi food with Iman I'm gonna be making a dish it's called Ruz Badawi translated Bedouin rice the nice thing about this dish is that it's really simple it's got meat it's got rice and we use a pressure cooker to cook it are you ready to do another dish with Iman so I have here a pot of a pressure cooker on medium high heat. The first thing we're going to do is add ghee oil. Ghee oil is like a kind of oil, but it's got a lot of flavors. The one I use is actually made out of lamb. We're going to put the spices. A dried lemon, you can find it in the Arabic stores. Cinnamon sticks, I have like around five or six cinnamon sticks. And these are, next we're gonna add around six pieces to seven pieces of cardamom pods. Cardamom pods around four pieces. And these are cloves. So around four pieces of cloves roast the spices in the ghee oil when it starts getting a little bit like dark brown actually smelling the aromas and the spices that's when you're gonna move on to the next step sure it's going to heat up cook it a little bit more that's how it looks like we're going to add the meat using the just the meat part and it's cut into like bite-sized pieces so we're gonna put it with the spices you guys smell that? Mmm, it smells so good. Cook the meat till it becomes a little bit golden brown. We're gonna do the next step. Sprinkle a little bit of salt. So when you build layers of flavors, you get a taste of everything that you do in the dish. All the water come out and it evaporates. That's when we know we're gonna move on to the next step. This is how it looks like. The rice I'm using is actually basmati white rice. I just washed it really quickly and I strained it. Don't wanna soak it in the water for too long because if you do and you cook it in the pressure, cooker it will become really soggy then we're gonna do step two hot water maybe like cups three cups so we're gonna let this cook for around 20 to 25 minutes till the meat is tender now here what we have is a pan on medium high heat and we added a little bit of oil and some pine nuts add some pine nuts we're gonna add raisins any raisins would do I prefer the yellow ones when they start becoming a little bit soft and brownish we're gonna remove it and we're gonna use this as a garnish on top of the dish of the rice so let it cook for a little bit this is gonna roast this has become a brownish I'll show you okay we're gonna remove this on the side and keep it to cool down time to get the pressure cooker we're gonna open it now oh, wow so we're gonna add around one tablespoon of salt basmati rice that have been washed really quickly I don't soak it in water because when you use the pressure cooker to make the rice it will become soggy I'm just gonna let it cook in the juices with the meat and the salt for a few seconds I'm going to add a little bit of water add two pieces of red chilies as soon as it starts whistling you're gonna put it on low heat and we're gonna cook it on low heat for around 30 minutes and let it cook okay guys so now it's been around 30 minutes where I've been cooking the rice when you put the rice you're gonna put it at really high heat once this whistle starts moving you're gonna put it on the lowest heat possible for 30 minutes after 30 minutes I remove it off the heat and I put it aside and I let it cool down completely I'm gonna leave it till when I remove the whistle, there is no air anymore inside. The reality check time. I'm gonna zoom in to show you. So that's how the rice looks like. But when you're using a normal pot, if you're gonna be using two cups of rice, you will need around four cups of water. I'm gonna show you how to serve it. And these are like flat, thin pans. The first way is you can turn this pot upside down and you put it all in here. Or you can actually use flat, big spoon like this one to serve the rice. And before I actually serve it, I skim through the fork through it so the rice will not stuck together the smell is just killing me try to fix it when you serve it in a pan now as you can see in the pot it's not burnt the trick to that is that you do not cook it on really high heat for 30 minutes pine nuts the raisins that we made and I always like to add coriander doesn't that look amazing and it took 30 minutes to make one of the easiest dishes ever it is so yummy and you will wow your friends and your guests just look at that how we eat this, we usually make a thing called dugus that we have it on the side. I have a video where I made dugus, so check it out. So I'm gonna taste it now. 
yummy. I hope you enjoyed my video and show some love by subscribing, hitting like and writing some comments at the bottom. Tell me what videos you guys want next time so I will make it. Also don't forget to subscribe to my new Snapchat body food Iman. I hope to see you guys next time. Assalamu. Bye.